Hi, my name is Andrew Kramer with Video Copilot. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to perform basic sky replacement inside of Adobe After Effects. So to start, what I want to do is analyze my footage. Um, as you can see, the background is pretty dull and pretty plain. So what we want to do is we want to spice that up using this sky background element. Um, so to do that, what I'm going to do is drag the sky background on top of our motorcycle footage in the timeline and then line that up with the zero point. So as you can see it's it's over top of our footage and the next thing I'm gonna do is apply a transition linear wipe and the reason I'm gonna do this is so that I can get a rough idea of what the composite's gonna look like so what I wanna do is set the wipe angle to zero and the completion to about thirty percent and then I'm gonna feather the edge of that about mm, 180 or so and then I'm going to move this sky element up just so I can get an idea of, of where the clouds might want to sit. And as you can see, this linear wipe really helps to make this clouds really seem like they go off into the distance. And overall, it just adds depth to our composition here. So what I'm going to do is scrub through it. And as you can see, uh, we have a problem. Our motorcycle footage shakes around a little bit. And what we need to do is we need this sky background element to lock itself to the motorcycle footage. So to achieve that, I'm going to select the motorcycle footage and I'm going to bring up the motion tracking controls. Inside of here, um, you have different options to either stabilize or track the motion. In this particular case, I'm going to track the motion. And specifically for a sky replacement shot, we need to track the furthest point away. And the reason we do that is so that the sky element conforms itself to the furthest part of the image. So like this mountain in the back, it looks like it's probably the furthest piece uh, or furthest element in the shot away. So what I want to do is I want to grab this track point and bring it over to this little piece of mountain. Um, I think that looks like a pretty good track point. There are some options in the tracker controls to uh, track the channel uh, RGB data or the saturation data. Um, the luminance is usually your best option. You can also process it uh, by giving it a blur or even enhancing it, which is a, a slight sharpen. You can track fields for interlaced footage. There's some other adapt features that um, we can get into another time. But anyway, so I've, I've lined up this track point. So what I want to do is analyze my point. So I'm going to bring the playhead up to the beginning oh, and then realign my track point. And then I'm going to click Analyze. So as you can see, that tracker stayed pretty close to that point. I say that's, that's a pretty good track. So what we want to do is we want to um, convert this track data to keyframes. And to do that, we just click Apply. And what that will do is that will apply it to the clip above whatever you track. So in this case, it will be the sky background. So I'm going to hit OK. And After Effects opens up a, an instance of your original source footage whenever you do tracking. So we're just going to go ahead and close this. And then here's our um, original composition. And as you can see, the sky element conforms to it pretty well, although it's out of position. So let's, let's handle that right now. I'm going to go down to the Transform Properties and specifically the position. One way we could fix this is we could adjust the anchor point to line ourselves up, but actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the position parameter and then move the clip around in the monitor window. And that will actually adjust all the parameters of the keyframes for each point in time. So as you can see that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and move this up a little bit. Oops. Here we go. Let's just move this up to maybe about right there. That looks pretty good. And um, we have this other problem where our, our clip runs off at the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scale the sky element up. That looks pretty good. So now if we scrub through it, now we have another problem. As you can see here is our, our little motorcycle guy kind of gets hidden behind this sky element because it is in fact on top of it. So what we need to do is we need to somehow bring him back on top. So because we have such a uniform background, I'm going to basically key that out and then put another instance of him on top. So to do that, 
I'm going to duplicate this motorcycle footage, um, Control D or Apple D on the Mac, and then I'm going to take this instance and drag it on top of the sky background. So as you can see, it's on top now. So I'm going to grab the keying element uh, color key, and this effect will basically just key out this blue. So I'm just going to select a blue here and increase the tolerance of that, maybe about 50 or so. So as you can see, that looks pretty good. Um, he's now in full opacity, as you can see, if I shut this on and off. So, oh, we have a few little spots in there, so let's increase the tolerance to, say, about 55. So now uh, we're pretty close. So what I want to do is let me just do a quick RAM preview, and we'll see where we're at. So. Another good thing to do when you're doing compositing like this is to do a color correction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up a new adjustment layer and that'll go on top of everything that we have here. And then with it selected, I'm going to bring up um, an adjustment effect, um, curves actually. And let's just move some of this stuff out of the way. And let's just kind of enhance those, those bright highlight areas and then just keep those shadows intact. It, the image seems a little cool, so what we're going to do is, with the red channel, I'm going to just bring that up just a little bit, and that kind of warms it up a little bit. And then with the blue channel, if we bring it down a little bit, it'll bring it to a nice orange, warm color, as you can see there. So I, I say that looks pretty good. And then let's bring up the time controls and do another RAM preview. That's how you can achieve basic sky replacement inside of After Effects.